Hello and welcome to another quick look. Me, Game of Six, of another furry visual novel, in a way. This one, Furry Shades of Gay 3. A game that is a visual novel, voice acted, I think, but is also, I guess, kind of like bejeweled. Let's check it out. Oh, and if you want to play this game, it's on Steam for like. I didn't actually look. Sorry, but I know it's on Steam. And yeah, if you want me to play this game, then uh, tell me. And I might put it on the list. It depends on some things. I'm not sure if it's 100% for a visual novel or what. Boy, he looks like he had a night. Uh, I don't know. Let's do Haunted House. So I guess it's like, if you do well, you get one path. If you do something else, you get another path. And hell, I'm going to have to edit that. Let's just take a picture of it so I remember to do that. Hyena? Hyena. Are you sure this is the right place? I can barely hear what they're saying. There we go. The car stops in front of the old manor's gate. The car's hood shines under the bright lights. Butterflies are dancing above the road, and birds are chirping merrily. The gloomy old house looks so out of place here, like it's been clipped from one photo and glued onto another. I mean, it does look nice here and then there's a horrible thunderstorm right over there. Even the trees around the manor are bare and sickly, especially compared to lush, green vegetation further from it. The branches are twisted under weird angles, under weird angles, as if in pain. And the gnarled roots seem to wait for an unwary visitor to trip on them. This is the only house in this area. Yeah, until it, w until I wasn't. There's no connection here. <clears throat> One second. Story. Percy pouts and waves his phone in the air dramatically, as if trying to catch the wild spirits of mobile connection floating in the sky. At least we can take a breath from your mom's phone terrorism. Oh, I guess it's not fully voice acted. It do be like that. Sometimes. And if we stay here, my relatives won't be able to reach us either. Now that's tempting. Or maybe it was just inner monologue. Personally, finally puts his phone away again and stares at the house suspiciously. The house doesn't look like the photos on the website at all. Not as new, not as new, and, hmm, fresh. There was no blind, empty windows in the pictures, no spooky gargoyles on the wall, no weeds and brambles that seemed to have taken over the garden. Blake, maybe, you know, screw it. Uh, let's go home? Look at how that gargoyle is squinting at me. I think it hates me. Percy grabs the wolf's shoulder, as if trying to hide from the gargoyle in question. It does indeed feel like it's watching the visitors, baring its sharp teeth in a menacing scowl. This house is really weird, though. It's a place of stone, Percy. The house is really weird, though. Yes, yes it is. Blake. Come on, let's get out of here. It doesn't look like the pics at all. I guess maybe I should do that be a lot more slow. Or slower. It's a matter of angles, I think. As if you never post any photos without filters on Instagram. Percy headbutts Blake lightly to demonstrate how offended he is. But it doesn't but doesn't take it any further. Oh, is he a goat or something? I guess there are horns there. The gargoyle scale turns into a snide grin. Let's go check it out. I think it's not that bad. Do you even realize how much we'll have to spend? On this garden and the gates and the... Wait, are you guys planning to buy a house? Or rent it? Are you guys like some very rich Instagrammers or something? It's my money. I've thought of it. No, wait, I've thought of it. Come on. You know, there's a better way to spend our time than this crap. 
It do be like that. Sometimes. You, me, the back seat. Sigh. So yeah, the point of the game where it's like, hey, if you, I guess, don't do it in this many turns, you get this route, but if you, I guess, connect a whole bunch of paws or something like that, you get this route. Eh, crud, and then I'm gonna have to censor that too. Guess it do be like that. Sometimes. Uh, and any Totowowos? The common board item. Match three of the uh, three items of of the same time together. I like will disappear. Horizontal streak item. You can make it by matching four items in a column. Destroy the whole horizontal row. The board when matched. Explosive. I guess it's the thing behind the thing. I'm still inert. Move. Movable item. You can remove it by matching items next to it. Set rainbow star. Da da da. Next special form after move. If you don't get rid of it in time, uh, you can remove it by matching items near it. Uh, pile of fur sheds even more fur. Then careful. You can destroy it. You can't destroy it. It's just annoying. Uh, huh. Okay. Yeah, we'll test it out. So, what was it? Powwows? Just need to match things near these things. I guess. Hmm. Ooh, there is money. Do you want to look at them pows? So, I don't know why the hearts are doing that. Mm hmm. I guess. So, what do these things keep doing that thing? Okay, it didn't seem to do diddly. But uh, this. And then, if we do this. And then get more pals. And. And if we do that, we get two of them, at least. Doesn't seem to have any uh, special things behind it, so let's do some of these. Ooh, there's one. Hmm. You're so close to getting something. So what's this? Oh, do we just automatically get that every turn? And what's this? Oh, maybe a poppet? Like a pimp -a -woe. Or maybe it's a changing thing. I don't know. I've never played this before. Uh, how about that claw? Okay, and then get this paw. Oh, so close. Or maybe you're supposed to conserve those things. They, if we use them now, you don't get them later. Okay, let's do that thing. And some geese. Hmm. Do that. Then that. Percy's one fancies are interrupted by the quiet creak of the gate opening. Gates opening. The dark wrought iron swings open in front of the visitors, maybe under its own weight, or maybe under sun gusts of wind. Did it just open all by itself? Do I know that voice actor? I mean, not personally, but you know. Must be the wind. Let's go inside before it shuts the gate again. The path to the front door is just as decrepit as the house itself. The rough stones leave scratches on Percy's delicate little hooves. 
if we buy this estate, all of this will be asphalt. And over there, we'll put a hot tub with lights, then change color and all that. And plant some oaks. Mighty oaks like mighty ca... <clears throat> Does... Wait, what's this about mighty oaks like... But anyways, did he do voice act at a Clace game? That sounds familiar. I mean, Clace is the only game that I think has full-on voice acting. Percy trips on the stone and shuts up, grabbing Blake's arm. Blake rolls his eyes and walks on, glancing at the rapidly darkening sky. The front door of carved dark wood looks heavy and antique. The more Blake squints, trying to make out the carved patterns, the more uneasy he feels. Ooh, this railing looks nice. Percy humps on the railing and stretches on it, like in a, like in a lounge chair. Just please don't fall down. I don't want to cancel this visit to drive to you to the ER, because I'm very British. How often do I fall from things? Depends if you're mean cock. Oh, well, remember that time at the fair? Blake. The wolf laughs hardly, watching the blush spreading over Percy's face. His soft ears are down, almost invisible in furry hair. They sit in comfortable silence for a while, watching the sky darken. Good thing there's a roof over the porch. It'll be pouring any minute now. I thought you wouldn't mind seeing me in a wet shirt. It do be like that. Yeah, on my leather car seat. Soaking wet and dripping water all over the salon. Blake, uh, Blake, what's wrong with you today? As they banner and laugh, the eerie gray sky turns almost black and thunder rumbles far away. Blake, maybe we should... What? Maybe we should go home. The storm's almost here, and the agent isn't showing up. Can't you wait a bit? If she doesn't show up soon, we'll go home, okay? Percy pounces and starts kicking his foot impatiently. His hoof clacks against the railing in harmony with the roaring thunder. They both know he's right. The storm is coming. Wait for them, screw this, we're leaving. Okay, so what's that? Oh, so if we do do that, then we... Okay, and then... Okay. And heck. It's gonna take a decent bit of editing. So what's this? Uh, question marks. So, uh... That's the item inside to take the straps off. Well, they're all stars, so... I don't know, we'll try our best. So... How about them Knicks? Usually you want to swap things, up, swap things on the bottom so it does that stuff. Hmm. I guess it do be like that. Sometimes. Hmm. Yeah, if we do that, we'll get double. Do some dat. And that. Are we trying to get stars? Or matching several in a row? Stars. So are we trying to get a score or something? Well, if we do that...
And just keep doing that. But seriously, we can't do this some more and maybe get some more cash monies. Could I choose that? No. You can wait for 15 more minutes. We drove here for three hours. You can wait 15 more minutes. I'm sure she will be here soon. Dot dot dot. Ah, uh, you're kidding me. No, I just don't want to drive three more hours as as you three more hours as you whine all about the time wasted. I won't whine. I suggested this. That's what you always say. And when I have to listen to your wallowing for hours. No you don't. How often do I whine? Uh and sex doesn't count. Well, for example, that time, my mom invited us over for dinner. She's been waiting inside the entire time! A deafening bout of thunder shatters the sky above. Yeah, shatters. Above their heads. It feels like the whole house is going to sway, collapse, and fall apart from its mighty sound. And then a figure appears in the suddenly open doorway, pitch black, in the flashing of lightning. Its eyes shine bright, sickeningly white. It looks ready to attack any moment. Uh. Percy lets out a weak bleat. He wants to run, or at least hide behind Blake, who is equally shocked and lost. <clears throat> you know, I'm just thinking, we kind of ran out of Kimo Coliseum videos, and this has a bit of voice acting. Not a lot, but still. This could be a nice slot for that. There you are. The lightning is gone as fast as it came, and the dark figure appears to be a tall spaniel lady in a suit and high heels. It's... Abella? Real, uh, real estate agent. You should, you should have knocked. I've been waiting... I'm Bella. Okay. I've been waiting for you... I've been waiting for you for a while now. Knocked? Yes, the door is old and heavy. You can't hear much from the inside. Apologies. My name is Blake. This is Percy. Blake comes to his senses first and agrees and greets Albella with a polite nod. Maybe his eyes are too tired after staring at the road for hours, and the lightning flashes don't help either. How else could he mistake the elegant girl for a horrified monster? We've reached the vil the vi we we've reached you via email before, right? Email? Oh yes, email. Sure. Glad to me in the flesh. Oh, we're glad too. And even more so to finally see the house. Percy finally gets a hold of himself and becomes his usual cheerful self, pulling all the attention to himself. Of course. Please come inside. Don't stand in the doorway. I'll show you your rooms. Show our, us our rooms? Ah! Blake? Did you see that too? Wait, what? So I can't roll back... I can't roll backwards, but I can roll forwards. Also, what? There's different branching paths? I mean, there's different branching paths, but like... Does the fail state mean we just quit? Oh, damn it. I have to do that again. What's with all the peni in here? Uh, yeah, play. Uh, this? You can wait for 15 more minutes. Uh, you're kidding me. So wait, scroll scrolling down does that, but you can't scroll back? Why? Seriously. It knocked? Apologies. My name is Blake. This is oh, Flash. You're glad too. Uh, attention to himself, of course. He's a, I'll show you the rooms. I'll show you the rooms. She turns around and vanishes in the dark hallway, as if 
dissipated in the air, like a g -g 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 ghost or something. Blake steps over the threshold, but Percy grabs his sleeve and pulls him down to whisper nervously in his ear. Blake? Did you see that too? It's just the interplay of light and shadow. I thought you creative types know all about that stuff. Oh, come on. Uh, can we go back? I don't like this house anymore. Percy, we drove here for over three hours. But that's like, you know, going through a city in Texas. It's not that long. As they argue, the doors start swinging back and forth in the hinges with a nasty screech, threatening to shut the door on them again. The door shuts. They enter. Okay, so get the claws. So what's the bulgy wulgies do? I guess you can't match bulges. Okay, look for ones that are four in a row at least. So that we can maybe do some extra stuff. Hmm. What happens if we do that? Okay. Nothing. I'd like to be nutting. Heh <laughs> got him. Can you do that? No. Well, the more you know, I guess. Okay, so that does count. Do we, do we save up turns throughout the game, or does, um, there's that thing again. Or does, um, bleh. Oh, how does that work, anyways? Oh, it just brings it from some other screen? Okay, so kind of useless. Claws, maws, paws. It will? Oh, right. Hmm. Also, all this non-talking does give me quite a reprieve. Which I do enjoy. I like doing furry visual novels, but just talking non-stop is... Quite a pain. Even though you people love my British accents. I mean, people said it sounds sexy. I mean, people have actually been like, Oh yeah, I imagine you and me in bed with that sexy voice. Like, hmm, nice. A little creepy, but also nice. Do that. Hmm. We could do that. Oh, yeah, we don't have it complete. Oh, no, we do. Hi, Yina. Well, I guess I should milk that one. Unless these things carry over? Not sure. I mean, so that we can get more of these. Blake finally pulls Percy inside, ignoring the latter's whining. He can apologize later. He knows damn well how to melt Percy's <coughs> heart. And I'm put. The door shuts behind them with a sound that could be mistaken for Thunderstrike. The hallway is dimly lit with candles in the in the walls gown in the walls gounces. Never heard of wall scounces. Shadows sway on the walls and lurk in the corners. So, as you can see, this is the ground floor. Blake uh, flinches nervously. It's like the agent just appeared next to him out of nowhere. 
The hull looks a bit run down. That's expendable. Ex... Expectable. Though, given how old the building is... A grand staircase, a sign of splendor from the past, leads to the first floor. Leads to the first floor? The grand floor is the first floor. Unless this... Wait, does, does certain places put the first floor as the second floor? I think that they might. Was this made by British people? Or maybe not British, but like Europeans? Maybe. Next to, to it is a big, sooty fireplace. A promise of cozy, warm lights in. Nights in. Above the fireplace, though, someone has put some taxidermy abomination. What kind of animal would put this pile of eyes and teeth be? Could this pile of eyes and teeth be? This is the main living room. The fireplace is fully functioning. You can burn firewood in it. The house is heated, though, so it's more like a part of the atmosphere. It's perfect for Santa. Yeah, that's totally for Santa. Percy grins. His mind is already filled with all sorts of Christmas-themed role-playing, even though it's still summer. <sighs> You're always horny. I mean, I guess so am I, but anyways. And yes, I imagine you won't choose to spend your nights chopping wood, so you can order it to be delivered by trucks. Though we could do some uh, woodsman role-playing. Ooh, ooh. Also, on the ground floor, there's a kitchen and the dining room. Everything is in perfect condition. Most of the appliances still work. And the par parakeet flooring in the dining room is good as new. They're going to have to deal with the cobwebs and the raccoons uh, living down there. They're not feral raccoons, they're just, you know, real raccoons or possums. I mean, like, anthro raccoons. Blake turns to her and listens intently when Percy walks away and sees something on the wall, purposely sticking out his ass in tight shorts. He just needs some new wallpaper or a fresh coating of paint in the living room, and renovating your place together is such a great bo bonding activity. I'm not sure Percy is fit for hard manual labor. Or any kind of labor. Just the hard stuff, if you know what I mean. He loves dick. In his head, though, Percy is stretching and arcing his back with a paint roller in his hands and overalls with nothing underneath. Ah, uh, so painting house will play. But yeah, we could try. Of course, the decision is yours. The master bedroom is upstairs. There's a bathroom on each floor, and the bedrooms have their own end suites. Bike nods, glancing sideways at Percy who is currently bent down, looking intently at something on the parakeet floor. The parakeet, I think that's how you say it, I don't know, is sporting a big hole, and Percy is sporting great flexibility. There is a wonderful old wine cellar below the house. The agent leans in a whisper, conspiratorially in his ear. It used to be an underground brothel, but it's burned but it burned in a fire under mysterious circumstances. <laughs> Just kidding. Her laughter rings unsettlingly in the living room, attracting the bothered Percy's attention. The ground floor is boring. Let's check out the cellar. What if the previous owners left a present there for us? Percy, I'm driving. Oh. Well, you wouldn't you won't be drinking then. Link sighs, rolling his eyes as he pulls at Percy's arm, batting his long eyelashes at him. Let me get... give me a sec. Sometimes my throat gets all icky. Or, let's go upstairs and have a look at the bedrooms. That's the most important part, right? A big, soft, comfy bed with a nice, convenient headboard. Are headboards convenient? I don't know. Blake shushes Percy angrily, turning his slightly embarrassed face away. Percy giggles. He's got what he wanted. Ambella smiles, as if the couple's flirting didn't even reach her ears. 
Okay, here's the divergent paths. So check out the bedrooms, see the wine cellar, and the photos were really different. And there's that thing again. So it's what? Get points and get butt cheeks? I guess we could try and do both. Get this so we can get uh, some of that stuff over there. Oh, you have to do it twice? Yeah, it do be like that. Sometimes. I guess try and get any four matches we can, and then get anything that's close to these guys. So we can maybe get some cascadas. Hmm. Let's see, that would be three. Oh god, they have even more pants on. useful. I wonder if this is the Chemo Coliseum thing where it does that thing, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to randomly pick it. Oh wait, maybe it does. But ever so slightly. Hmm. Better than nut. Ew, ew. If we do that, we can then do... Or that works, too. And work on some of that. Cascadas! Well, that's there. At least... Does that, does that affect that? It does! Nice. Cascada! Maybe. Probably should check whether this was, like, a specific number or not. Ha, <laughs> not. Anyways. I'm professional. I always love doing that, but always hate to be on the receiving end of that in chemo. Coliseum. Hmm. Yeah, do some dat. So let's see, bedrooms or the wine cellar? Bedrooms or wine cellar? Here we had time. Yeah, bedrooms. Percy scans over the Holland's pouts, flicking the moment, uh, flicking the mount on the wall with it. The note. Okay, on those. nothing interesting here. Let's go upstairs. Percy, I wanted to check out the kitchen first. Well, let me try to do a whiny voice. Who cares? We will be ordering food. Let's go see the beds. With that, Percy disappears on the stairs, and Blake can't do anything but follow him upstairs with a tired sigh. The grand staircase is much sturdier than it seemed at first. Slight, uh, first sight barely creaking under Percy's jumps. As I already mentioned, the first floor has the master bedroom, the two guest rooms, and two guest rooms and en suites. I see. I see. Anything else? He looks sad right there. Also, furries don't have those kinds of ears. You don't have bones in well, those kinds of bones in your ears. Blake is asking questions, but Percy but is barely listening to answers much more interested in Percy's butt than which is swaying seductively in front of his face. I want all the neighbors to be jealous of us. Which one uh, which one is the master bedroom? I hope the windows there are large. I want neighbors to be jealous of us, watching us bang several times. They're 
Granted, we might just do once in the bedroom and then like several times in other places. Anyways. They are large, but not floor to ceiling. You can always change them though. Albella blinks owlishly, as if she doesn't understand the connotations to all. Blake breathes out. What the? This is the bedroom. Please go inside and have a look. I'll wait for you in the hallway. Albella smiles and lets him into the room. The quiet creak of the door closing is drowned out by the clacking of Percy's hooves as the spirits as he sprints to the bed and flops onto it. The room seems lavish, but nothing in it really stands out. A huge double bed, heavy dark curtains, a carpet. So wait, a double bed isn't really big. Are you mean like a queen or a king or a California king? On the vanity is a large mirror that there is a decorative skull. Clearly, some esoteric souvenir. Can I, like, make sure my face is good? That's alright. Let's, uh, move this a bit more down. There you go. Good enough. Blake steps on the soft and fluffy carpet. It feels almost like it's caressing his feet. The bed is nice, by the way. We should get a better mattress, though. A more modern one. You know, one of those smart ones made of memory foam. We had one. You hated it and we sold it. Blake looks around the walls and takes the skull and turns it mindlessly in his hands. And so what? Maybe I want to give it another chance. Percy flips on his belly and sticks his butt up, trying to look seductively. It's so boring. Not even a TV in the bedroom. How are... How are they living here? The house is old and empty. That's why we're buying it. Used to live. Now it's old and empty. Eh, who cares? If we buy it, we can get a we can get a huge TV. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying to do um bitchy, but it's coming out as British for some reason because I guess I'm doing a British accent ish. The size of it, the size of this whole wall. I thought you wanted floor-to-ceiling windows. Them too. Blake sighs. He can't win this one. Percy blushes. Uh, busses, bu bus busies himself with the weird shape corner post of the bed, pulling and twisting it until it finally clicks. Percy. The Amoir that Blake hasn't noticed before slides to the side, opening a hidden room filled with dim red light. <coughs> wow, the previous owners did have some dirty secrets after all. I tried to do it, uh, mute myself so I could go. <clears throat> Let's go count the skeletons in the closet. Hmm? Hope it's skeletons, not old skis and jars of pickles. Skis? Maybe he actually is meaning skis. And then I have to do that thing again. Because there's a willy there. Okay, it was 27 before. Hmm. Does this go across those things? Okay, it does. Cool. Oh no, not the faux balls. They will take over the world. It, it do be like that. Sometimes. Hmm. Is that? Okay, it does. Which ain't 100% good. Maybe wait till they get close and then do the thing? Hmm. Oh, do they stop? Okay, fair enough. Do this.
Then some these. Hmm. Yes, spooky. Not the best move. We're not really thinking. Game move six, not really doing the thinking. Which is true. Who needs to think when you got a cute butt? I mean, I do have a cute butt. That's besides the point. Hmm. Okay, do that so we can. Oh. Do this. It's getting close there. Secret room. Percy hops off the bed and heads the secret passage, licking his lips with anticipation. The room is dimly lit with red lamps, hidden somewhere out of sight. The curious couple finds themselves surrounded by various BDSM devices and accessories. All sorts of dildos, vibrators, anal plugs, and beads are displayed on the end, on the end tables. Various whips, floggers, and paddles are hanging on the walls. On one of the walls boasts a large mirror and a few skines of shibari. I guess it's that thing you tie up people with, but not like tie up as in tie their wrists together, but tie up as just. I know, tie over their torso. I should really ask my friend about that. He might know. Anyways, Roop, on difference... Actually, let me just take a picture of it so I remember to ask him about that later. In different colors above it, right across the mirror is a torture rack. Whoa! That's a secret room I'd love to have on hand. Percy hops to the mirror, prods it with his finger, and grins to his reflection. The collection hesitates a moment before greeting back. Our own collection is better, though. Of course. You poured a fortune into it, after all. It was a mutual investment. Don't you dare say anything at that... Don't you... Don't you dare say it was your money. It was a mutual investment. Sure. Percy hops and wanders off, staring at the dildos of different forms and shapes. Like, he's at an exhibition in a museum. Some exhibits actually make his fur stand on end. Who is even able to put that inside them? I mean, let's be honest. This is the furry world. And he's a femboy. And I've seen actual large insertions on the internet. I bet he could take it. Even though he's small. Meanwhile, Blake approaches the wall with punishment devices to have a closer look. Oh. Now he'd love to take one of these and give a good spanking to Percy provoc Percy's provocatively swaying buttocks. Warren pin him down on one of these tables, tie his hands with one of those ropes, and... You know, I like some of these toys. We should get something like these beads. He spins them on his finger, watching Blake expectantly. He smiles calmly and reaches his hands to the wall without looking, grabbing the nearest flogger. Yeah? I think I'd rather prefer these things. Would be nice to have something like this on hand sometimes. He slaps his own palm, and the harsh sound echoes through the room. Something for discipline. Percy swallows thickly and lowers his ears, clearly imagining some sort of bits in Blake's palms in Blake's palm some of his soft bits in Blake's palms place but quickly recovers really are you saying that I'm a bad boy or a mad boy because he's a goat of course you are a terrible spoiled brat I mean he is terrible 
Percy comes closer and looks blank in his eyes, sliding his palm up his partner's chest. Hmm. And you are a big and strict wolf. Percy stares right in his face with playful defiance. Exactly. The following silence is thick and charged, only diluted by the raindrops drumming against the window. They look into each other's eyes, each expecting the other to take initiative. Percy gives up first and steps aside, pretending that he forgot that he has a toy in his hand and that he should put it back. Um, uh, what else we've got here? Check out the rest of the room. Run. Run in shame. <laughs> uh, let's see. Boji bojis. Hmm. Uh, but that's a waste if it put it there, right? Because it's just these. I could do some of that. Dutes. And some dat. Getting closer. What do I mean? I'm looking for pause. Hmm. I'm thinking, or at least trying to. Though we don't seem to have a lot of turns. Hmm. Do that, that brings that down at least. And we can do one of these. That would be good. Probably should have thought of that because there's that there now. Hmm. Now I guess we should check out a fail state. Yeah. I wonder if money or something else persists. Hmm. Does a bomb count? Me and my bombs. Percy turns away, demonstratively switching his attention to the corner of the room dedicated to the bondage devices. He walks along the racks and crosses, swaying his hips seductively in front of Blake and pretending to study each exhibit carefully. No, but we definitely need to get something like this. Even if we don't stay here. Blake's absent-mindedly twirls his flogger in his fingers as he watches Percy. He walks between devices so carelessly, so it sometimes feels like he's about to get trapped in one of them. Like a wild animal in front of a hunter who's watching patiently until the prey falls for his tricks and gets itself trapped waiting for his victory to walk into his hands. We should order one. I saw this on Amazon. It's not even too pricey. Oh wait, oh I saw this on Amazon. We should order one. 
Seriously, this game doesn't do the thing that you see in most visual novels where it's like Mamazon or something. Gonna get sued. Percy points at the Red Cross for bondage. Yes, he'd look good on it. Snow white fur against dark red wood. Percy's writhing under his claws. What? Eh, uh, what's wrong with the? What's wrong with his head today? Ooh, Blake, check this out. His voice pulls Blake out of his fantasies. Percy's found a pillory, almost. It it's open and ready for use. What were you saying earlier? That I'm a spoiled, rotten, yada yada, and I must be disciplined. Hmm. Percy arches his back and lifts his tail invitingly, hovering above the mechanism. Oh, look at me. I'm so ashamed. I'm so naughty. I guess you have to, like, rise up every time you're about to finish a sentence. He leans down and into the pillory, watching Blake with a smug, expre expectant smirk. Blake smiles and stalks closer. Longer still in hand. Ashamed? Really? Absolutely, Mr. Wolf. So ashamed. Blake strokes his butt with one hand, squeezing his cheeks lightly, and even considers slapping him a couple of times before they leave this place and go see the rest of the house. Then something flickers at the edge of his vision, and the pillory slams close, trapping Percy in. Hey! I was kidding! No, you weren't. It wasn't me. You, pro you probably touched the mechanism that closed it. Percy huffs and tries to wiggle out the trap, but it clearly was constructed with much stronger brats in mind. The shadows in the corners are fluttering happily. Don't stand there. Help me out. Sure. Wait one sec. The Blake licks his lips at the view. Of course, he can just open the mechanism and let Percy go. Does he really want to, though? Blake? What's wrong? No, Blake doesn't think he wants to. Not immediately, at least. Percy has been nagging and teasing him all day. Why shouldn't he use this moment? Uh, Blake! Percy whines and starts thrashing in the trap, demanding help. His perky ass is jerking pretty, uh, prettily right in front of Blake. Use the mount. Boy, this thing's big. Oh, that does look like we have a ton of turns. 69, nice. Ooh, there's some stuff, but it's over there. Wait. Oh, you can't move that? Interesting. You just... Hmm. Hmm. If we do that, then would that fall there? Not really. We could get that stuff over there, yeah. No, oh, but that. Hmm. Mm. Paws and maws, though. Ah, there we go. Always work on the bottom first. Ooh. ooh. Oh yeah, and speaking of which... Why is the penis blushing? Game Wolf, asking the important questions.
Really? All that for nothing? It do be like that sometimes. Hmm. Yeah, I was hoping for more cast scatters. Cash. Now time for some fucky wuckies. A hard slap fills the room as the flonger lands on Percy's ass. Make. You're right, Percy. Another hit on the other side of his butt. I try to take pictures so I don't accidentally do the thing where I'm like, heck, I forgot about that. Also, magic hands? You are a terrible, naughty, spoiled brat. Oh yeah, talk to me bad, daddy. And you should be punished for that. Another slap, this time lower, almost on his thighs. The agent uh, will hear us. Eh, uh, let him hear. We'll just buy the house. Percy sobs in pain, but the blush in his face and fluttering ears betray the moment. Then you gotta be quiet. Two more hits on both of his butt cheeks. Percy moans instinctively and instinctively tries to pull his knees up to his stomach but fails. Blake grabs his shorts and pulls them down, burying Percy's ass just enough to continue with the punishment. He lands one hit after another, spurred on by Percy's gasping, moaning, gasping moans and sobs. Are you supposed to be sobbing during this? Something invisible to both of them pulls the short slower, making the sensations from the flogger landing Percy's thighs even sharper. Ah, you sadist. That doesn't sound like the voice of somebody that's sobbing. Percy's whines. Feeling his cock stirring in shame, uh, induced arousal. An unseen hand strokes his length, teasing him with even more sensations. Percy is too distracted by the painful slaps against his skin to think about who's touching him where. His hoodie is hiked up as if by itself, or maybe somebody's helping them. What's wrong, Percy? Link strokes a sensitive butt with the tip of the flonger, a predatory smile on his face. B Blake! Another slap interrupts him, making him gasp. Blake leans down and strokes his waist with a clawed paw. What did you say, Lamb? P please His cock is now painfully hard and leaking. Recum? Okay, that's a typo, I think, because it's C-U-M. His knees are shaking and bucking from the mix of pain and a wowzo. Blake leans into him, rolling his hips against Percy's still burning buttocks. The rough fabric sends Percy's skin aflame. He tries to curl up and whine at the feeling of his partner's hardness against him. Oh, Blake. Pull his pants down and go on. I'm not sure if I need to work on those condoms. Oh, we need these things? Oh, we need just two of them. It do be like that. Sometimes. Should really work on those things, but what is what is this thing here? This one's a bit more difficult. Maybe we'll do the shoppy thingy. How do we do it? Do we... Oh, okay, we press it down there. Use it... Here. Here? Okay. 
Never mind then. Bring down? What's bring down? Oh, maybe we have to work those things down here? Hmm. Oh, but what to do? Trying. But it's hard. Ooh, ooh. That's when those money things happen. but thoughtful. some of that. Oh, damn it. How about some of these? Sausage time. I think because, hey, now that's the end of this let's play. Or quick look. Oh, and there's more. Huh. So, uh, and yeah, I'm probably going to have to take a picture of this too, so I remember to censor that too. There's quite a bit of things to censor. But yeah, if you want me to play this game, then please tell me. And I'll put it up higher in the list of things to do. I'll replace Kimo Coliseum. I do have to find a replacement for that in how long? Uh, 17 weeks. Yeah. So we got time. Oh, it would be either this or the other games. I'm not sure if there's any canonical order to Furry Shades of Gay. I mean, just let me look at something that might be able to show it. Oh yeah, and while we're at it, what is the Steam price store page? Eh, ten bucks. But if I were to buy all the Furry Shades of Gay bundle, it would be... Wait, 
Why is it 40 sometimes? No, there's a $14 for the games. And then there's like, what $5 one? First Shades of Gay, two, three. Supporters Art Pack, 4K Animations Pack, and Gay Soundtrack. Okay. Is it supposed to be like 30 shades of gray? Maybe that is it. Yeah, it does look like he's in a picture in one of these things. Oh yeah, there they are. In the second one. Um, so yeah, that's price. Uh, if you want me to play this game, or Kim Kosim or some other things, then we can do that. There's quite a bit of things. It doesn't seem like any of these are too long, as long as they don't bugger up, that is. Um, and yeah, comment, guys, I like comments. Tell me you like, dislike, tips, or otherwise. If you like my YouTube and would like to see it grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out the videos to help it grow. And please remember to spay and neuter will your animals to help control the pit population. And yeah, until next time, another quick look. Bye, me. Game of six of some other game. Though I guess we could, you know, do that random number generator thing. Wait, and here was them. Percy and what's his name? Blake? Uh, doing, what is it? Red Riding Hood? With him being a werewolf? I've seen that animation before, but it doesn't have moaning sounds. Um, so let's see. One two three four if it lands on free shades of gay again with this thing i might just re-roll it uh granted a uh, you know, random number generator i got fur gay furries on the brain it do be like that sometimes go okay it landed on other which is furry shades of well actually not furry shades of gay specifically it's also sex in the furry kitty so sex in the city. Let's reveal it one more time. Because, you know, we want to show other stuff. He landed on it again. Wow, the random number generator gods really want me to do it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, an otter's tail. Yeah, we'll do that. Maybe do that, and if it lands on first, it's okay. As we do otter's tail, we'll just do it. <laughs> it doesn't be like that. And until next time. Another quick look. Bye, me. Game of six of some other game, or an honest game. So thanks and see ya.